Welcome to Van Zandt Animal Care Center. We have today, we want to demonstrate a physical exam, a proper physical exam on a patient. We hear many comments from our clients that, wow, my pet's never been examined like this. And this is the way, in our opinion, that every pet should be examined. It matters not if your pet comes in for an ear problem or a tooth problem. We're going to look at the entire pet. That's why you're here, to assess the, their health. We are the pet's advocate. Uh, we, we're the only people who can speak to the, the health of this pet because that's what we're trained to do. This is our passion in life. Uh, this is Snap. Uh, I'm Dr. Kipwingo. This is Dallas Edwards. This is Snap. Snap is a 15-month-old neutered male corgi, and we're going to give him a, 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 a demonstrate a physical exam for you guys today. Uh, Dallas has already taken Snap's weight and a temperature today. He weighs 18 and a half pounds. His temperature is 101.5, which is within the normal range. It is my custom to start here and work my way back in a physical exam, and we'll get started now. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look in snap size, and we're going to evaluate his retinas, the clarity of his lens, his corneas. The white part is called the sclera, and the pink part is called the conjunctiva. We're also looking at the pupils to make sure they're accurate and they track when we move the head, track normally, his eyeballs. We'll look in this eye and we can tell that his retinas are good, his lenses are clear, cornea looks good, his sclera and his conjunctiva. We'll shine a light in this nose, look for nasal discharge, we see that. Then we're going to start and we're going to look in each ear. Every patient gets his ear looked in. We see so many pets with ear infections that no one even knew because they don't tell you. Beautiful ear there. That too is a beautiful ear. Now, we're going to look in the mouth. And a physical exam is not complete until every mouth has been e evaluated. The mouth has to be open and looked into it. And we're going to look, and we're looking for tartar and gingivitis, broken teeth, tumors, foreign bodies. We find sticks in their mouth stuck often. We'll look way in there and look like that. We know that with proper dental care, pets can live up to an average of four years longer. So it's very important to evaluate the mouth. The next thing we do is that we're going to fill some lip nodes. There's some lip nodes right here under Snap's ears that will palpate and assure that they're normal. And some right here in his shoulders, we're going to palpate those. Palpate means to fill. Those are good. The next thing that I do in my physical exam is we palpate the, the laryngeal area, the pharyngeal area here, and we put a little pressure on that. See if it induces a cough or if it's painful. The snap is normal, obviously. Now we're going to manipulate this neck to see if there's any pain. We're going to look this way and that way and up and down. On every pet we do this. Now we're going to evaluate the hands. We'll look at each digit. These are thumbs. Then digit two, three, four, and five. Assessing the nails. We'll look at the pads. Often dermatitis hides in the hands and the feet. And you can't tell unless you look. And we'll palpate the hand bones of the metacarpal. Metacarpal bones, we'll touch those in real nice and make sure there's nothing painful. Then, well, this is the rest of the carpus. We're going to extend that to assess the degree of mobility. And if there's pain present, we'll palpate the radius and the ulna. We'll extend the shoulder and the elbow to see if there's pain there. There's some lymph nodes right in Snap's armpit. We'll feel right there. And we're going to evaluate his shoulder blade, too. We're moving over to this left hand. We're going to palpate his thumbs. And did the two, three, four, and five, looking in between each finger, assessing the nails, looking at the pads for dermatitis and foreign bodies. We'll palpate the hand bones or metacarpals and extend his wrist and flex it. We'll fill his radius and ulna right here to make sure they're normal. And then I'll put my hand, just as I did on the other leg, on the point of his shoulder and extend his shoulder and elbow at the same time to see if it hurts. It doesn't. We'll fill some lymph nodes right under there and assess his shoulder blade. And we'll steam around. We'll have you face Miss Dallas. And this is the view that I can properly assess the weight of the pet. We use a number system, and each pet is assigned a number. One is very thin, nine is very heavy, five is good, four is better. This is a four, a nice lean critter. We know that, that pets that are lean, body condition score four, will outlive dogs heavier by an average of two years. So it's very important for them to be lean. If your pet is heavy, we'll make Dietary recommendations. Matter of fact, every pet that leaves this hospital has made some food recommendations so you know what to feed. 
The next thing we're doing, we're going to just touch this critter. We're going to look for lumps and bumps and parasites. Start at the back and the sides and the belly. We're lumps, checking for lumps and bumps. And we're going to check for hernias in three places. In the belly button right there in the middle and in the groin. And we'll feel some lymph nodes in his groin. The next thing we do with my hand, I'm going to palpate his abdomen. Filling of his internal organs, his spleen, his kidneys, his intestines, his bladder. We're checking for tumors, foreign bodies, painful areas. Everything is normal in this guy. We're going to put a little pressure on his back too. See if anything hurts there when we match. Everything is normal. Then it is my custom to now move to his knees. And we're going to, these are his knees, just as they're our knees. And we're going to check for fluid on the knee or swelling. We'll make sure his little kneecaps are in place. They often come out of place in some critters. So this knee is normal. We'll move over to the left knee. And I'll palpate it, and it is normal. Behind each knee are lymph nodes here and there, here and there, and we're going to palpate those to ensure they're of normal size. We'll work down and check his ankle and his palms under there, his soles and his toes. And we're going to stress that ankle, stress that knee, Extend that hip and abduct it to see if there's pain there. The same with this one. We'll check the soles of his feet and all of his toes, his foot bones. We're going to stress that ankle, stress that knee, extend the hip and abduct it. We'll check his rear end, make sure there are lumps and bumps or tumors or infections. Everything looks good. And we'll have a good look just to make sure we didn't miss anything. You know, in addition to this is a team effort. My technicians such as Dallas are, are very astute at picking up things. They may find and say, hey, what is this? There's a lump here, there's something there. So you really do have two people looking. The next thing I'm going to do is auscultate, listen to Snap's chest. Uh, we're going to evaluate the, the heartbeat, check for murmurs and the lung field. So as I listen, the snap's heart, you can see Miss Dallas hold his mouth closed so I can hear the heartbeat. And at the same time with my right hand, I've got my hand on his femoral pulse. And I'm matching the beat with the sound. And it's perfect. We're going to check all areas of valves in that heart to see if they're normal. Then we're going to let him breathe a little bit. And I am going to assess his whole lung field here on the left side to make sure that it is normal, devoid of congestion. And on this side, we'll do the same thing. I'll assess the heartbeat, okay, and the lung sounds, all the way up to the back of the lung fields. And that concludes our physical exam. That's how a physical exam should occur on every bed, and that's what happens here at Bamjo and Amalot Care Center. Uh, in addition, when we're done, we send home with all our patients some, some form of a written report on the physical exam. And we have here each system that we are going to evaluate, uh, our dietary recommendations, the body condition scoring system here, the vaccine is given today, the results of our basic diagnostics such as heartworm tests and intestinal parasite screen, what kind of heartworm prevention and flea control they're in too. And that concludes our basic physical exam at Van Zandt